In today's video, we're seeing if my $1,000 TCG player investment was worth it. What's up guys, we're back with another TCG player $1,000 check-in, and this is not only the one year anniversary, or the one year check-in, I could say. This is the two year. So we've both invested at the beginning of 2022 and the beginning of 2023, $1,000. So I invested $1,000 in a TCG player, not just in 2022, but I also did the beginning of this year, $1,000 more. So we have $2,000 total dollars into TCG player at the moment. And we're gonna check in on both the two year uh, check in for 2022 as well as the one year for 2023. But before we do that, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what was our best year in terms of investment and what should we invest in for 2023 and how should I do it? Last year I had Twitch chat pick the $1,000. The year before that, I totally picked it on my own. Should I go back to doing it by myself? Should I let Twitch chat do it again? Or should we do a whole separate one? Maybe we could even do a YouTube stream or some other idea that I haven't thought of. Without further ado let's get to the check-ins we're at year two here from the one thousand dollar investment back in 2022 if you want to go watch the quarterly check-in videos that we've done since then or the very first video go check out the playlist on the screen i've put in all the videos we've done so far so you can see like what my reaction was back then to seeing them there were some crazy spikes some crazy dips hopefully some crazy spikes today because we need it all right so something that happened in the first year was he had condition issues and that sort of cost us a lot of money but the check-in at one year last year we had lost 16 percent of our money the most recent check-in we had lost almost 45 percent of our money so we got absolutely killed recently i'm hoping there's some sort of comeback but based on the reprints they've done recently i'm not feeling too good about it so let's start off with the blue eyes my dragon ultimate rare so let's see if we can uh improve any way from how it's been going because it has not been very good let's say that so the ultimate rare blue eyes we have both a near mint unlimited which is now a dollar 72 for the cheapest unfortunately this guy prodigy games is here if he wasn't here we'd be up to 359 which kind of sucks so dollar 79 is definitely less than what we paid okay so it's the second one because it's not first yet so a dollar 79 we have lost six dollars and 15 cents because it was originally seven dollars 94 cents that's 77 percent not a great start to our thing let's check out on the first ad unfortunately it's lightly played because i you know this year i kind of was just like whatever we're gonna do the condition i bought either way but 466 we spent 25.99 so yeah that is not exactly great 82 percent 77 percent fortunately this is only about 33 ish dollars of our actual investment so not a huge percentage in that way but we have lost basically all of it already on these ultimate rare blue eyes which it's surprising i wonder what the near mint would be let's say i had actually gotten a near mint card when i ordered it it would be ten dollars so either way it'd still be really bad it'd be better obviously but still that's a pretty big loss from 25.99 but i will remind you guys the 2022 investment was right i mean it was still in the tail end of the boom for Yu-Gi-Oh cards so everything was insane it was super expensive so it's going to be pretty hard to ever make our money on most of this stuff 2023 is where we have a little bit of hope because like it was sort of a down more down market and it kind of is now still so if it ever gets you know exciting again or like big and hype i won't say exciting because it's still exciting but everyone's excited about it at the same time i should say then maybe those could go up at some point. Okay, Silent Swordsman level five. We have a lot to check in right now, so let's just get right to it. This was another one that we got a lower condition than we thought. I feel like this is up 56.33 from last time at least. So if we look at 56.33, overall we're down 35%, but last time it was at $35. So this one did actually go up. And if you look here, there's only one list or two listed from the same guy at 56. Lightly played goes up to 75 after that. So that one's actually trending upward. If you look at near mint, I bet we would actually be doing well. 114.68. That's usually the case with this one. We actually invested 109. So we'd actually be up if we got the near mint copy when we bought it at that price, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, as we went along, it's kind of been down the whole time. But it's nice to see it's actually going back up. The ultis are kind of nice, especially if you actually get near mint. Really hard to get near mint ultis. So it's unlikely that happens. Let's go to the next one. One of our worst investments we've had on this next one. All right, next one, the Astro Leviathan. Oh my goodness, even recently, like you can look at this. Oh, look at this nightmare. This is where we, two years ago is when we invested. So it was already down a ton. $25.95 for the Astral Leviathan. You know how hard it is to pull this card? That is an insanely low price. If I was investing right now, I feel like that'd be okay. $25.95, but uh, let's just check it how much it is down. $84, 76%. Look at this, $109.95 when we invested in that one. Yeah, 
not great. I'm just gonna move past that one because it's sad. Uh, Lightning Storm is gonna be the same way though because it's seven Prince and Rarity collection. Not gonna help much. Let's see Lightning Storm Starlight. All right, here we go. Check this out. Oh, past year, we are way down. Oh, 96.88. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 96.88. We are down 67% from our $298. So yeah, Starlight reprints. Yeah, sure, they're awesome. I love them. Uh, that hurt. We lost over $200 buying that card and holding on to it. So that's pretty rough. Unfortunate for us. Ugh, we are we are down. A, we have $185 total dollars right now. We're halfway through and down 81% overall. This might be our worst one yet. Solemn Morning Ultimate Rare up next. It is only unlimited though. So unlimited. It is near mint though, which is good. So near mint four it's german 40 49 that's down too uh that's definitely down so that one's down 41 percent from 69 i mean these are these are down a lot just from last time look this one was 123 that's only down a dollar but only one thing's been up from even last time so this is a really really rough start okay a dusted gold i know it's not gonna be going anywhere i know that all right brothers of legend whoa check this out signs of life oh my goodness signs of life a dollar 99 is this is this it? Is this where we we start making a move? 146. We made 50, 53 cents since the last time. 53 cents. But we're still down 84% from the uh, original investment of 12.99. <laughs> but hey, glass half full there. It, there's something. There's something to be happy about. All right, Strato Salty. I I think you're our only chance to at least be close, right? Maybe. Did this get a rarity collection print? Did it get a rarity collection? I can't remember. Maybe it did, uh, but either way, it's down to 112.48, which honestly is still a respectable price for a card. Uh, very respectable. So even though we invested 150, we're only down 25%, which is our best one by far besides the, uh, it's both ultis, by the way, keep that in mind. Ultimate rares, they just do really well. And by really well, I mean, they don't lose as much of your money. They still lose 25%, <laughs> which is really a, a lot, but I'll take it. I'll take it at this point. Red Eyes, Third Metal Dragon, Ghost. How is the ghost gonna do? I have hope for this one. It did have a lot of prints in, uh, you know, Rarity Collection, but maybe just because it didn't have a ghost print. Okay, Rarity Collection is probably going to hurt it. <laughs> you can't even find it because of Rarity Collection. There's all these prints now. Son of a nutcracker. All right, there it is. You got to type the whole freaking name in. Okay, uh, Near Mint First Edition. Yeah, that's definitely down. $74.97. Oh my gosh. Rarity Collection. Rarity collection. Look, I love you and all, but you are not helping our $1,000 investment. Okay, this is bad. Warriors Triumph has honestly been one of our most solid investments. They're not going to reprint this, so maybe this one can stay steady. Come on, please, please. No, it's down. Anyway, oh, that's, oh, that's $15 shipping. Okay, we got to include that. So $94.99. If it's like ridiculous shipping, we'll include that. Okay, that means we are actually only down 4.7%. Yes, we are not up on a single card from 2022. We have literally lost 50% of our money, 40, 48.98, so 49%. $490 have been lost. All I did was spend it and not do anything, and we lost $500. So wow, that is a really, really rough 2022. I'm hoping 2023 will be a little better. Let's get right to it. We do have a lot more to check out. So year two, here we go. So 2021, or 2022, I should say, horrible, horrible, not good. But I'm hoping that these will be better. So Sky Striker Ace Rose, let's see how that one's doing. All right, 22 cents, that is not great. Uh, okay, <laughs> so we're looking at 66 cents. We're down 80% on a card we spent like a $1.20 on. All right, Dark Arm Dragon Ghost Rare. I have more hope for you. Uh, Dark Arm Dragon, please, please do something for us. Dark Arm Dragon Ghost from the Path. Oh, it's down. Oh, well, it's a little rebound, okay. Near Mint, 30.99. That's definitely less than we paid, 30.99. Let's see, compared to last time, we are down a little bit still. Colossal Fighter ulti. I'm just going to go a little bit quickly through these because we do have a lot here. But uh, Colossal Fighter, or unless there's something like really big we need to pay attention to. Colossal Fighter was really good for us last time. So I'm hoping that can stay the same. Yeah, it's held out pretty good. Near Mint, 114.86. That's really good. 114.86. Wow, we're up 31%. Okay, last time we were up 33%. So it's about steady where it was. That's a good one. I honestly should sell these. I did a little bit of selling, which we sold uh, the some of these here, the trap tricks here, which, okay, we got, we're up 
81%, 30%, stuff like that. And we actually profited $118 on those. And I probably should do that for some of these that are up, such as the Colossal Fighter. And that's, I mean, 31% is really solid. Ally of Justice Catastrophe, another one thanks to Edison that's been doing really well. Uh, I'm hoping that continues right here. Catastrophe ulti, where's the ulti? All right, so, oh, this actually hit a dip for a while and kind of rebounded a little bit, which is good for us. 98.73, okay, 98, which we, it looks like we missed on our check-in. So last time it was kind of up there, it went like it threw a dip for three months and came back. So we actually ended up making a little bit more, 41%. Wow, we only spent 70 bucks on this. So honestly, a really, really good investment on that one so far. Should probably move both of these. The thing is with this one, it's only really a $28 profit, which with the shipping costs and everything, like really in reality with taxes, shipping, everything, we're not making that much if I actually moved it. So it probably wouldn't even be worth it to move that one. Colossal Fighter, on the other hand, is up about what is that only 26 so really about the same difference so that's kind of the thing about we're profiting on these cards but it's such a low like margin even if the percentage is higher the shipping cost of like five bucks and then like the tax we originally spent on tcg player really adds up to making it such a small profit it's not really worth the hassle of selling it okay ash blossom and joy springs this was the mega 10 version so ash blossom Will you be up in price for us? 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. Oh boy, yeah, all that rarity collection. Yeah, rarity collection is just annihilating the market, which, surprise, surprise, uh, printing 50 copies of good cards does not work out so well, usually. Okay, so I think there was, I need to do times six, right? There was six of them. So that puts us at down 41% to match our 41% right there. That's a shame. Had I known that they were gonna do a rarity collection, I wouldn't have invested in so many staples, such as Pot of Desires, which is an ulti, but guess what? We got another ulti. It's a little bit different though. Let's see, I don't know, Pot of Desires, can you hold up? Was this one actually, the Pot of Desires I got was definitely not in a near mint condition, but we're gonna check it for near mint. Look at that rarity collection, just decimation of this card. 36.99, that's definitely gonna hurt. So we are hurting from rarity collection 33 percent killed us okay trap tricks uh we sold all those so we don't need to i guess we can just put in the amount right that's what i think that came from there so trap tricks we sold we ended up we locked that in at 68 percent. that's why i should have moved some of these cards potentially earlier but i mean there's no way to predict what they're going to do with rarity collection but do have to keep in mind if it's a high end staple they're going to reprint it into the ground eventually it's going to be worth nothing so that's something that's probably going to happen i should have predicted so tomb black cluster soldier this one actually i feel like did okay last time let's see if the crystal revenge version is doing better oh seven fit no 880 because that's verified 880 feels like that's up actually yeah 880 look at that up a little bit until it gets its next reprint it's up 12 percent that's good to see it's definitely gonna get another reprint it only has two right now instant fusion ultimate rares these i was forced to do i had no choice it was a twitch chat decision if you guys remember you guys didn't watch when twitch chat made me do the uh decisions it was pretty funny and the one with the fiber jar you got to go check out that that video as well so they made me do this even though i knew this was a terrible investment uh and yeah it obviously didn't work out we're down 34 percent which is actually up from last time when we were down 41 percent so I guess it's trending in the right direct direction. Maybe in the long term, this will be a decent one, which would be great. Night Beam. These actually were kind of hot last time. Night Beams, they were good in ultis. They were really good. So let's see if they keep that up. So first Eds, near mint, 1229. That feels consistent. I think we bought 10 of these, right? Yeah, 10 Night Beams, so 1229. That is gonna work out as 16% increase. This year is feeling a lot better already. I mean, that lock-in for Trap Tricks has honestly been a game changer. It's made this investment so much better. Like we've actually been holding up like above a thousand. Last time it went down a little bit. This time probably gonna be down again, thanks to Rarity Collection, but some of the stuff is actually doing really well. Like let's check on the back, Sia. I'm much happier with our choices. So Twitch chat, like being there actually did really well. Like I was shocked at how well Twitch chat has done. Uh, they had some good suggestions, though they made me do a meme one, which of course is Twitch. What do you expect? Okay, this was first ed. Just wanted to make sure that was a first ed copy. So first edition, ulti, 23.98. I feel like that's down a little bit, yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit, but not too bad. So we're down 21%. Uh, let's go to Yazi. Very similar card. Yazi, I believe these were both ulti first. Will Yazi be... A okay, that one's down as well. I think it had a... Didn't it have a recent like, collector rare or something? 1484. Or they they could have maybe even been a rarity. I'm not totally sure. So that that was pretty rough on our investment. But that's... They weren't huge cards. They're pretty cool ultis. Rescue Rabbit, secret first. So near mint first for Rescue Rabbit is $15. I feel like we definitely spent more than that yeah down 30 so we are seeing a little bit 
kind of falling back into not a great trend here. Overall, only minus 12%. It's not terrible. Uh, rising energy. Let's check on this one. This one was one we spent quite a bit on. Uh, there was like a, I feel like a, a refund offered on one of them. Can't remember exactly, but something like that happened. We had a 630. Okay. So what do we spend on these? How many did we buy? 2373. We bought two. So yeah, we're definitely down on those. All right. 630 times two puts us down 47%. That's pretty rough. Fiber jar. We just got a refund for that one. So that one's, you know, the star. You guys remember, if you don't remember, go back and watch the video of the mail day gone wrong. Go see when we got the, the cards. It's right here. It's in the playlist as well. It was it was insane. I'll have the playlist linked at the end of the video as well. All right, Droll and Lockbird were kind of insane, and I probably need to sell these. These actually went off last time. They're just rares out of uh, Tactical Masters because we spent like less than a dollar. Here it looks, oh man, they're going to be down again. But they were all, let's see. They were like way, way cheap. They were like less than a dollar, and they were up at like $5 for a while. Let's see, they're at 332, which is still not bad. And we bought, I think, a playset. Yeah, it looks like one playset. So we are at 332 times three. So it puts us up 600. So last time we were up 918% because we spent $1.40 on three of them total. This was three. That was $1.40. So yeah, we kind of went crazy on these. They were like 40 cents or 49 cents or whatever it was. And now they're worth like 10 bucks for a playset, which is, I mean, that felt like a good one at the time because that had just released. So they were at the absolute low they were going to be. Everyone had them and it's aged pretty well. No reprints since then. So honestly, pretty good. I mean, they've fallen back a little bit, but it's been really nice. All right, Gate Guardian. This was the ultimate meme purchase. We bought Gate Guardians at $5 a piece. Absolutely terrible buy. I mean, terrible. Secret Rares, they're now down at 76 cents so that is gonna really hurt i think we bought 20 something of them 23 i think i might reserve the right to uh not allow there to if we do another one where viewers can choose if they want a meme purchase i can veto it like if it's something this stupid like gate guardian like we spent 101 dollars on gate guardian now we're 17 dollars for 24 cards we're not i'm not allowing that it's not happening next year because that's really killing our overall vibe uh okay bat on the battle fader which has been really good i haven't been able to move it though so the price is a little bit fraudulent. Let's see, Near Mint Unlimited. It's down to 39, so this is a little bit more reasonable. Where even is my price? I added up at like the lowest price and it just keeps going down. So 39.98, we're kind of back to what I spent on it. It was crazy for a while, it's still up 33%. It was at $125 at one point, which it wasn't selling for that, but that was the lowest price it got bought out. So still up 33 bucks, it's not bad. Uh, it looks like we're actually gonna lose money here for the first time all year. Uh, Petit Moth, I think we bought like a bunch of these. So these are, these are gonna add back some some value but not a ton really i mean honestly though it should be a lot but we only bought unlimiteds because first ads are actually expensive we got unlimited 37 cents we bought 14 of these so 37 cents times 14 that puts us down 41 percent we're actually down for the first time this year four percent and we can go ahead and give a big shout out thank you rarity collection we went from up 18 up five to down four and it was basically all rarity collection it got we killed our ash blossoms our pot of desires for some reason i think these two were in rarity collection but i could be wrong about that if it, they were then it makes perfect sense why they're down and then we are down on a few things like the battle fader being a fraudulent price you know it's still up but it's it's probably more reasonable about what it is right now if that gets a reprint it's gonna hurt it even more so overall though we have not lost a ton of money one year in let's compare this year where we're down four percent after a year to last year how much were we down after one year and should we expect it to go back up or is it going to continue to tank like it did in year one so if we check right here a year later, I had lost 16%. So we're doing better than last year after a year, but still it was down a little bit, but it was doing a lot better than it is currently, like 16% compared to 49%. So are we gonna see like these cards being down 4% going to down 20% or 25%? The good thing is, and really the main reason we're doing so well is I locked in this $292 sale, which was a 68% increase in our uh, trap tricks, trap hold nightmares. And really I should have done that on a few other cards as we went. And maybe next year I'll be more intentional about doing that. And that'll help us actually profit in the future. Let me know what you think about this video. Do you want to see a year three? And what do you want to see different if we do the year three? Because of course I'm leaning toward doing it because it's one of the most fun series we have on the channel. But I do want to change it up a little bit. I do want to have some way to make it even more fun. Like maybe be more intentional about selling stuff, make content out of that, like buying and selling the cards, stuff like that. Maybe we could even buy stuff throughout the year to 
to continue into our investment. Like if I sell something at a profit, maybe spend that money immediately on a, another investment so we can have more and more cards. That could be really fun. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're gonna have more content just like this. Shout out to Tome Foe Show, Daxter, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Leo Gwine, 62, Brad KK Beats, Ananda Taisho, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F, Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.